Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. We have this problem on the board. We have a force here, John, and we're asked to find the force vector F as a Cartesian vector. So this is a very, very common thing. We have, for instance, a wall over here, a flat wall in this plane, and we have point A. And then we have some XY plane down here. That's what this is trying to represent. We have point B. And we have a rope tied from point A, and maybe you have someone standing over here or some kind of tension uh, device pulling on it. It's pulling with 900 newtons, but uh, the primary thing we're trying to get across here is the force vector is not starting at the origin. It starts from point A and it terminates at point B. What this really means is if I had a wall over there and I tied a rope to it, and then I bring the other end of the rope in my hand, that rope is going to define a direction. A and B, and that's defining the direction. And then I pull on the rope with a force, in this case 900 newtons, so the force is directed along the direction defined by that rope, uh, and we have a direction associated with it because the force is a direction, you know, beast, it's a vector quantity, and we want to figure out what is the vector representation of this force. We know it's 900 newtons, we know that's the magnitude, we know it goes from A to B, but in terms of I, J, and K, the X component, the Y component, and the Z component of this force, how do we write it as a Cartesian vector? So we're going to pursue it exactly as we have said before. We have a starting point and we have an ending point. So let's label those guys, point A. So the coordinates of A in the X direction, A is two. In the Y direction, Y is anything along this axis. It's actually zero because we're in the plane here. In Z, we're going up four. So the point A here, the starting point is two comma zero, zero comma four. And then the B point, this is just going to help us visualize stuff here. The x component, notice that x is here. This is positive x. Anything over here is negative x. And I did not actually label it. This is actually 2. This distance from here to here, I've in intended to label this as 2 meters. So this distance right here in the negative x direction is negative 2. So we have negative 2 comma, the, uh, that's the x component. The y component is how far we travel this way, which we have labeled here as 7. And the z component is zero because it's lying in the x, y plane like this. So make sure you understand that these coordinates of the a and b, they come straight from the drawing. And that's half the battle when you're doing any of these problems. You have to be able to interpret the x, y, z component of everything. Now, because the arrow is pointing from a to b, we're basically starting at point a in terms of defining a direction. And we're ending at point b. Okay, so if I wanted to define the position vector that points along this direction here from A to B, 